Every single cell is a muscle cell and a nerve cell. All muscle, all brain. It's in between my fingers. It's not letting go. That was a look at Life, a sci-fi space adventure starring Jake Gyllenhaal, Ryan Reynolds, and Rebecca Ferguson. For his take on this and other films being released this week, we want to bring in Richard Krauss. Good morning, Richard. Morning. I was very much looking forward to today mm -hmm. because I've seen this trailer about a million times. I thought, should I go see it? Should we all go to well, the theater? You know what's better than regular monsters? Outer space monsters. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of a mashup between Alien and Gravity. Imagine if they had a baby. If those two movies had a baby, this is what this would This is would their love be. child? Yeah, and so you've got these astronauts. They're in a space station. They're hurtling through Earth, and they pick up along the way uh, a smaller space shuttle that's grabbed some Earth, some dirt from Mars. And they find in that dirt a little one-celled creature. They freak out. We've got the first signs of life in the in the universe in, in, on Mars. This is amazing. Look at this. They try and keep it alive. They have it in a little incubator. They adjust the, the temperatures. They, they try different things to feed it. Nothing works until they give it glucose. And then it turns into this, like, gelatin gremlin-looking hell beast from Mars that, that hunts them down and Aww. Tries to kill them, and yeah, so glucose in the diet is apparently bad. is bad, uh, and and that's it. That's what happens here, and and I won't tell you anything more. The third act doesn't work as well as the first two, but it ends pretty strong. And uh, this movie is one of the rare movies that I've been at. Uh, lately, anyway, where people in the audience were very vocal. There was a lot of like, oh, oh no, oh, that can't be. Yeah, really? all the way through the audience, all the way through the movie. It's a four out of five star movie for me because it works. I'm going. Yeah, we're <laughs> going. Fun. Okay, uh, the next movie. Power Rangers? They're back. I mean, the, if you look at the movies uh, from this week, you've got, you know, essentially Alien Redux, you've got Chips, you've got Power Rangers. So from the 1990s, you know, we're, we're, we're certainly uh, right in the middle of it all in this wave of 90s nostalgia with Power Rangers. And, it, you know, I'm sure that a lot of Power Rangers fans will get a kick out of hearing about the Zeo Crystal again and some of the other sort of catchphrases. Rita Repulsa, uh, played by Elizabeth Banks, is the bad guy here. But what you want when you go see this movie is to see five teens in sort of colorful plastic helmets battling people dressed in monster suits. That's what you want to see, and the movie makes you wait 94 minutes before you get to that. It's an origin story where you learn more than you ever wanted to. They should have renamed this everything you never wanted to know about the Power Rangers but were afraid to ask, because it tells you everything for 94 minutes, and then there's 20 minutes of kind of fun action and then that's it so two hours of the power rangers was about 94 minutes too much for me so two stars two stars one star per hour that's all right, right. the next movie is chips wow this is a yeah. real throwback it is a throwback to you know from 1977 to about 1983 this was a big hit on television made eric estrada a big star uh, for a short while and you know this i guess feeds into the nostalgia that that we have for sort of older shows except all they've done here is take the title take some of the characters' names. Eric Estrada has a little cameo in here. And then everything else uh, feels like it came out of the back pages of, like, National Lampoon magazine. And it's raunchy, it's down and dirty, it's an action comedy that's not really all that funny or all that action-packed. So I'm not really sure even what to what how to categorize this one. I give it two out of five stars because it doesn't work all that well. Okay, and the final movie, Personal Shopper. Yeah, this is good stuff. This is is uh, Kristen Stewart. I interviewed uh, Olivier Assayas, the director of this movie, and he looked at me and said, I think Kristen Stewart is the actress of her generation. You see the movie and you get a sense of why. She hands in a tremendous performance here as a woman who is a personal shopper living in Paris for uh, a big time model. She buys her clothes and sort of makes sure that she's, she's well turned out when she leaves the house to go on red carpets and things. Uh, her twin brother has died and she's trying to reconcile her life. She's trying to figure out how to continue on in her life uh, without him. Or is he really gone? 
and it's a ghost story essentially but it's fantastically interesting it's not exactly a mainstream movie but for me it's four to five stars because wow. it goes places uh, that a lot of other horror movies won't go and she is fantastic in this okay so you gave personal shopper four to five all right we're buying <laughs> richard krauss thank you so much we'll thank see you me. next week